Let's fuck up the planet as much as we can. There's nothing like a wildfire to top up your turn. So get on that plane, add some fuel to the flames. You could even stop paying for that pension plan. It's far too hard to restrain our behavior, obviously. So why not go larger and crazier? After all, that's government policy. More oil, more gas, more growth. Let that be humanity's savior. Rishi wants a future for his kids. He knows how fragile planet Earth is and the wonders that we share it with. But he thinks we barely scratched the surface, so let's hit it with some proper mental shit like students on a bender in a bedsit. Sure, they move on to better things while we're stuck here till the fat lady sings. And rumour has it she's in the bar, necking her pre-gig gin. Just kidding, having a laugh. Well done, everybody. Carry on as you are. When it comes to climate change, you've got to make it fun. If you want folks' attention, be more like the sun, where it only gets a mention next to hot girls in bikinis, and less like the Guardian's never-ending doom scroll for London's leftward leaning. According to that lot, nothing can save us. We're melting the glaciers. The ozone's had it. We're killing the oceans with our plastic. When does it ever say in the papers that we're homo sapiens and we're fantastic? We're richer and more powerful than we've ever been. So for God's sake, relax. We are living the dream. We are like the banks, too big and too clever to fail. Just read the mail. We have nothing but immigrants to fear. And we'll save the elephants and the whales with dealist celebrity tears and the odd garage sale for charity. Buy a cupcake and save the manatees. What, the kids made biscuits and raised six quid for Greenpeace? Tickets to Disneyland immediately. What absolute stars. Let the markets make the big decisions. The car makers will keep building cars and tell us their emissions are not quite as bad as they actually are. The oil companies will keep drilling. The banks will keep making a killing. And we'll think they're all lovely and cuddly because, of course, they sponsor the arts. And the government will blame the working poor, then announce that the answer is to tax their farts. Well done, the markets. Well done, the political class. Well done, everybody. Carry on as you are. Here's an idea that's none too shoddy. Let's take the kids on an eco-march. They'll want new trainers if we're going to do that. Made with rubber that's unsustainable by 10-year-olds tied to radiators. But let's not get lost in the facts. We'll take bottled water in case they get thirsty. That stuff from the taps from those dirty private companies that fill the rivers full of shit. So in a way, by buying Perrier, we believe we're doing our bit. We'll take them down in the 4x4, a proper family field trip. Then off to McDonald's as a reward. You know it's a winner with the kids. Well done, everybody. Carry on as you are. Take a weekend jolly golfing on the Algarve. Break out the bolly. You work bloody hard. Have some fun. Upgrade your car. You only live once, so reach for the stars. What's another Range Rover on the planet? Give yourself a makeover. Stand out in the traffic. It's not all about planet Earth, whatever the do-gooders say. It's about what you deserve, so you do you and seize the day. Think of it as just this once, a final fling. What do you mean cognitive dissonance? Is that a thing? I mean, how green can we be? We're all green peas now. We grow green beans in our super green greenhouse. It's doing those little green things. That's what really counts. If you ask me, people take the apocalypse a bit too seriously. Throwing soup at great art, stopping the traffic, it's going too far. Feeling guilty? Buy a Tesla, do the odd march, it's good to be giving, but life is for living, so make the best of it while it lasts. Well done, the rest of us. Carry on as you are. In September, we're flying to Ibiza for a well-earned exclusive retreat. Lots of breathing and yoga, which will offset with a cheese-free October and rewilding the conservatory. At Christmas, we'd love to go skiing if there's snow on the slopes, but these days you can't guarantee it. We can only fly there and hope. Or the scuba diving in the Maldives, if by then they're not submerged. I mean, what do these COP meetings ever achieve? Last year, the golf course was half flooded, half burnt. It's a political circus, headless chickens running round in circles. Things like the Maldives really concern us. We promised the kids we'd go swimming with turtles. Something's got to change. Governments have got to change. Industry's got to change. Everyone's got to change. But not everyone's the same. Some of us need our holidays. A place in the sun by an olive grove. Or a bolt hole in the country with a wood-burning stove. Yes, I know they're deplorable, but everyone's got them and they're just so adorable. 
I have to admit, I sometimes get sick of these eco bedwetters. Our kids deserve better, blah, blah, blah. I suspect they're a teensy bit jealous, so well done the rest of us. Carry on as you are. I sometimes sit and think, having had a few drinks, about what I'd have to do to really do my bit. Should I live in the dark on a diet of grass, groan in my own shit, only whisper, never laugh or fart, to reduce the gases I emit? Should I weave my own wicker coffin, buy a recycled loincloth to send me off in? And when I do shuffle off this mortal coil, don't bury me or burn me. Chop me up and reduce me on a rolling boil till I'm a sad little puddle of oil and fat to be put in a jar and used in a dressing. Then I sober up and think, fuck all of that. That's going too far and way too depressing. Well done, everybody. Carry on as you are. And if the planet does bite the dust and humanity's a goner, We'll hire Elon Musk and send him to Mars with some supermodel baby mamas. He'll be our superhero, making love among the stars, conceiving humanity 2.0 and a whole new market for electric cars. Hotter, richer, faster, fitter. Every man's dream, a blue tick on Twitter. Well done, everybody. Carry on as you are. That was well done, everybody. Carry on as you are. Thanks for listening to the end. I've been Jimmy Livingston.